Welcome to the Archive series of reviews. Now, the Archive series are a little bit different from the normal reviews you'll see elsewhere in this channel. To see how and why that might be the case, click on the above link. First four and a half minutes will explain all. But without further ado, let's get to this week's review. For the fourth review in the Archive series, we're looking at a pair of stand-mounted speakers. These speakers are from the French company Cabas, and the speakers themselves are called Surf. Now, I originally reviewed these speakers back in Quor, March of 2019, and back then they were priced at 479, and they're still 479, so they've maintained their price quite well. Now, stand mounted speakers are relatively small, of course, compared to the floor standing brethren's, but even as a pair of stand mounted, the surf speakers are relatively dinky indeed. Available in glossy white or black and weighing in at 4.7 kilograms each. Each speaker spans 290 millimeters by 175 by 220 millimeters. The design also offers a typical 85 decibel sensitivity figure. On the front at the top, you'll find a DOM37 tweeter. This is a tweeter developed by Cabas themselves. And you can see the horn profile in these images. The diaphragm is used in the flagship La Sphere model. The 130 millimeter 13TN15 mid bass drive unit was also designed by Cabas. Now on the rear is your basic pair of speaker terminals, but just a bit further up and strangely offset, you'll also find a bass port. So what do these speakers sound like? Well, I began with vinyl and public image limiteds. This is what you want. This is what you get LP from 1984 and the track Bad Life. Now what immediately impressed me about these particular speakers, especially from this dynamic track, was the mature presentation from the surfs. That was down to the basic organization of the soundstage from these small designs. Organization? Well, what I mean by that is the stereo image was pushed way back into the distance, offering a distinct 3D effect. Here resided the vocal, a funky bass and saxophone. To the left and right, delineated and separate, was the percussion. The effect was to impose a sense of order on the music, giving it a sense of direction and purpose. The stereo image also provided a sense of space. Now this helped reverb tails from cymbal taps, for example, while focus in this area successfully controlled the bass guitar. A much needed task because the bass can, on this track, if left to its own devices, be a little bloomy and smudgy. The precision from the bass enhanced the pace of the music, pushing the music forwards. Also with some speakers in this price point, the saxophone can be a touch bright, but not in this case. The surf noted the energy from the sax, but provided enough discipline to control the upper sonic areas. A neat side effect was the reduction in noise, which meant that the next track, This Is Not A Love Song, the very poor album version of the hit single, I might add, sounded much clearer than normal. Instruments offered slivers of space in between each other, giving the music a sense of transparency as well. I then turned to the Bing Crosby CD, Let A Smile Be Your Umbrella, on the Bluebird album, Bing With A Beat. Again, I was impressed by the focus here, corralling the wayward and unruly upper mids and preventing uncontrolled barking from the same. Similarly, any slight pinching from the mastering on this particular CD was handled with delicacy and finesse by the surf speakers. The relatively low noise performance enhanced the musical space. That added a broad, wide aspect across the soundstage. This effect helped to enable Crosby to emote and deliver an impressive performance. Similarly, subtle areas of the arrangement, such as the relatively shy piano, could be tracked easily by the ear. So what do I think of the Cabas Surf 
stand mounted speakers. Set at a relatively affordable price point, the Surf speakers offer air and space across the back of the soundstage that blends well with a low noise aspect providing a wonderful sense of clarity, especially for the price. The order and discipline emanating from the surfs never threatened to dampen or harm the detail from the music. On the contrary, the surf speakers were just packed with the stuff. This is a tremendous design, I really have to say, and they offer tremendous value for money. Also, these speakers tend to fly under the radar and they deserve your attention. So if you can, try and seek out a demo. Thank you very much for sticking with this series as I'm trying to build the actual series itself and just give it a bit of presence on the channel going forward. But I will be back next week with another video and I hope to have your company then. Until that time, bye bye for now.